Good afternoon, or good morning. Um, here we have a demonstration of how to change the images in the image slideshow in the top banner on the home page of the website. To do that, we are going to need to log into the back end of the website. So I will enter my login information, and voila, we are logged in. Um, I click on page because I need to edit it in page view. Now. Uh, that's the home page. So generally I would go to the home page to make the change. Um, however, right now we have it just on a temporary page, this home copy one. So we're going to go look at that page instead. Uh, and then when you're good to go live, we'll move it to the home page. Uh, but I want you to notice something on the home page. We have main content and left column. Those are the two main areas. We've added a new area called section image. So you still have main content and left column, but you also have section image. In section image, we now have a plugin called the RG slideshow. If I edit this RG slideshow, you can see the settings. And uh, so mode, it's set to pick your images. It's got a few other modes, but this is the one that uh, is very, uh, that's what we recommend for this situation. Um, and you can see the images that are being used. These are the names, and you can see uh, little thumbnail versions of them. If we want to add additional images, all we need to do is click on the Browse for Files folder, which pops up the image browser. And then we can go to any folder, really, uh, but somewhere where we have some images. And so I'm going to pick a few of these. Now, this won't resize the images, so we want to make sure that the images are already sized as we want them. And we've added a few in there. And I'm just going to save this. And when I hit Save, that image box will get a little big, bit bigger so we can see them all. So we've added one, two, three, four additional images. Now, let's say, for instance, we want cameras to be the first image. All I need to do is click on cameras. And this first icon here says move selected item to the top. It's now the top. And maybe I want this one to be down a couple. I can use the down arrow to move it down a couple and so on. Uh, maybe I don't need this one. I'm going to click it and hit the X and it's gone. Um, and I am going to save. And after saving, I'm going to Actually, let's look at a couple things. We have a description field, which can actually stamp a description on top of the images. I don't think you'll want that in this case, but we can talk about that if you'd like. Um, we have the timing. It's in milliseconds, so 5,000 milliseconds is equivalent to 5 seconds. And let's change it to 2,000 for now, so we can actually see the changes without having to wait too long. We have the width and height of the image area, uh, which should correspond to the size of the images pretty much. And we have the link. This is the link that uh, will come up if someone actually clicks on that uh, image area. So uh, let's save this. And we will clear the cache for good measure. Clear front end cache. And let's go and look at the home page and give it a refresh. And when that finishes refreshing, we should have, there's a new image, cameras, and please join us, and corporate. And you can see that the timing is now two seconds, and it's added in the additional images. If I click on it, it should take us to the link that was specified. Did I not click? There we go. And it takes us to the event registration, which is what that link was set to. And that's it. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to call or email. Thank you very much.